हेलो सर सर इज माई वॉइस ऑडिबल यस मैडम यस ओके आई एम ऑल्सो एबल टू हियर योर वॉइस सर इज माई वॉइस क्लियर नो इज ओके मैडम सो ओके माइन इज क्लियर यस सर यस सर आई एम आई एम एडिबल या या यू आर एडिबल सर ओके थैंक यू ओके थैंक यू सर थैंक यू students kindly rename yourself oh there isn't any option okay i think uh, one student has changed it seems mohammed fadil how did you change can you there isn't any option okay mohammed how did you change can you give your response in the chat actually he has changed his name it seems yeah a few people has changed try your best if you uh, click if more option is there no there you could uh, rename oh uh, while entering in the zoom itself you have changed your name okay okay fine
if possible you just leave and then join again with your name So while joining in the Zoom itself, you need to give your name. If possible, you just quit and then rejoin again. no issues if you are not able to rename yourself okay just leave it So if you have any sort of queries, you just uh, give it in chat, okay? Actually, it won't show your name. You need to type your name with that. Yeah, Monish, I could uh, view yours if you're unable to change your name and nothing to worry about it. Okay, just leave it. Okay, okay.
sir uh, shall i start or uh, we could wait for uh, another 5 minutes sir students are joining madam yes sir you can start another 2 minutes or 3 minutes sir. okay okay sir okay sir. wait for a while then we will start it okay sir okay because sir. people are many people are joining there okay sir we will be in uh, okay. 2 minutes sir Okay, we'll another couple of minutes. Yes, oh, yes, okay, yes, okay. Yes. we'll start the session. Okay. So. Okay, madam, you can start now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. okay. So, good afternoon, everyone. I take the privilege of welcoming all the participants for a series of webinar organized by Sri Manakula Vinayagar Engineering College as per the directions of AICTE on the completion of one year of transformative reforms under National Education Policy 2020. I extend my cordial welcome and gratitude to our management personalities, Sri M. Dhanasekaran, Chairman and Managing Director, Sri S. V. Sugumaran, Vice Chairman, and Dr. K. Narayanasamy, Secretary, for their harmonious support and motivation. I would like to welcome and thank our Director and Principal, Dr. V. S. K. Venkata Chalapadi, whose magnanimous positivity drives us for successive progression in all our determined efforts and for granting permission to organize the webinar series. I welcome our Registrar, Dr. J. Abbas Moidin, the Resource Person of the Day, Dean Academics, Dean Research, Controller of Examination, Placement Officer, Heads of all departments, faculty members, and the real pillars of our institution, our students, a warm welcome to one and all present in the session. The main objective of organizing this webinar is to disseminate the goals of National Education Policy 2020 among various stakeholders for an equitable and inclusive society. For your information, National Education Policy 2020 replaces 34-year-old National Policy on Education, which was framed in the year 1986 and modified in 1992. The new policy aims to transfer India's education system by 2040. The key highlights of the policy, free and compulsory education from preschool to 12th standard, the existing 10 plus two structure of school curriculum will be replaced by five plus three plus three plus four curricular structure. Mother tongue to be the medium of instruction, and national education policy recommended setting up the Higher Education Commission of India as a single overarching umbrella body for higher education, excluding medical and legal education. The two major higher education regulators, UGC and AACTE, will be replaced by Higher Education Commission of India. And students will have the liberty to choose subjects they would like to study across streams. Occasional education to be introduced in schools from class six onwards and will include internship as well. The duration of the undergraduate degree will be either three to four years. Students will also be given multiple exit options within this period. Colleges will have to grant a certificate to a student if they would like to leave after completing one year in a discipline or field, including occasional and professional areas, a diploma after two years of study or a bachelor's degree after completing a three-year program. 
Actually, an academic bank of credit will be established by the government for digitally storing academic credits earned from different higher educational institutions so that these can be transferred and counted towards the final degree earned. So this paves way for no more dropouts in higher education. With this note, I would like to introduce the resource person of the day, Dr. J. Abbas Moedin. He has completed his undergraduate at Madurai Kamraj University and MTech in Surface Engineering from Regional Institute of Technology, Ranchi University, and PhD in Chemical Engineering from Anna University. He has more than 35 years of rich academic and administrative experience from Salem Engineering College, Satyabama University, 11 years at JPR as a principal, and 14 years at Mohammed Sadiq Engineering College. He served as a syndicate member of UG and PG Board of Studies, Satyabama University. He was nominated as an academic council member of Anna University by the governor of Tamil Nadu. Also, he had wide industrial experience of six years in the design, development, and erection of JPR water plant, steel plant, and cement factory. He received many awards and recognitions such as Guinness Record, Bharat Ratna Mother Teresa Gold Medal Award, Rashtra Vibhushan Award, and Rashtra Vidya Gaurav Gold Medal Award, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Gold Medal Award, Bharat Seva Ratan Gold Medal Award, Lifetime Education Achievement Award, International Education Excellence Award, Best Principal Award, Outstanding Achievements Award, and Asia Pacific Education Award. In addition to his credit, he has published more than 175 research publications at national and 156 publications at international level. Further, he has also authored two books catering to the needs of students in the field of environmental engineering. Under his guidance, 12 research scholars received their doctorate degree, and currently six research scholars are waiting to complete their degrees. With this brief note, I invite our registrar sir to take over the session on multidisciplinary and holistic education, which are necessary to build strong India in the 21st century. I'll hand over the session to you, sir. Very good afternoon to Undernal President here, Honorable Chairman, most respected uh, Vice Chairman, respected uh, Secretary Sir, respected Director, respected uh, Dean of Academic School of Arts and Science, School of Allied Health Science, Controller of Examination, respected Placement Officer, Dean R&D, respected HODs and AMX students. On behalf of uh, our Sri Manakula Vinayagar Engineering College, I would like to present uh, this uh, session. It is uh, the holistic and uh, multidisciplinary education. National Education Policy 2020. I'm really happy in sharing with you for this occasion. Good afternoon. In fact, uh, before we move on to this uh, holistic and uh, multidisciplinary education, which has been uh, framed by uh, National Education Policy 2020. Meanwhile, uh, it's my uh, privilege and honor in sharing uh, what is the new education policy. In fact, uh, the new education policy, which uh, filled the gap between uh, the current state of uh, learning outcome with the required uh, industrial needs as well as the public demand, that is the main motto for bringing the education into a highest quality, equity, and integrity. With that, they were uh, initiated from the school level of education to the higher education. As our uh, host, uh, Dr. J. Chetra told that the school education have been replaced, going to replace from 10 plus 2 to 5 plus 3 plus 3 and 4. That is the foundational courses in a uh, Anganwadi and preschool, uh, preschooling uh, pre up to second standard at the age of eight and up to 11th age. It is the primary preparatory school level of learning. There's a class three to five, 
then middle school up to age standard at the age group up to 14 and from 14 to 18 uh, from class to 12 uh, that is the secondary education as per the new education policy is concerned and uh, coming to the higher education uh, with the uh, new education policy 2020 national education policy 2020 it has been insisted to have a quality universities and colleges institutional restructuring and uh, consolidation towards a more holistic and multidisciplinary education optimal learning environments and support for students motivated energized and capable faculty uqt and inclusion in higher education and in fact uh, they are moving on to the other focus area is just uh, professional education adult education and lifelong lifelong learning promotion of uh, indian languages that is uh, in trying to introduce uh, our own mother tango in our uh, career of education it's an optional a uh, technology use and integration online and digital education we were during this pandemic situation we are very well uh, been uh, familiar with our uh, online and digital education the importance of online and uh, digital education even at the school level the people are comes to know and finally it is ensuring the equitable use of uh, technology the holistic education is nothing but it's a philosophy of education based on the premises that each person can find the identity meaning and purpose in life through a connection of this community to reach the development of the different levels from the learners that is uh, physical emotional cognitive uh, language and uh, spiritual why we need a holistic education what is the purpose of uh, going for it in fact the uh, the world research emphasizes the significance of uh, holistic approaches to education and even at the early childhood uh, educator or uh, bring the challenge to integrate a teaching practice that focus less on the traditional uh, milestone uh, like uh, academic development uh, in addition to that uh, physical emotional and psychological well-being of the child that is more important this is what uh, nowadays the people are learning and uh, coming out even it might be known even a uh, childhood people uh, childhood uh, the people are uh, even uh, able of getting the doctorate that is a professor level of knowing the intelligence of uh, in field of interest even um, uh, in recent days it might be known even at the school going students he received a honorary award of uh, doctorate at the research level knowing the uh, multi-dimensional uh, oriented thinking and thoughts several people were given an example even uh, u.s government uh, given uh, so much of uh, credits for the indian students because of his knowledge and uh, i think even a recent uh, one person who invented uh, the uh, nano cpu for the marketing is only at the age level of uh, 11 years old even a researcher they are uh, 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 finding out that uh, the students uh, uh, average iq that is uh, intellectual and uh, intellectual intelligence but with uh, high emotional intelligence are having more successful in their life rather in case of uh, the intellectual intelligence so it is the essential for uh, policy uh, education to have a cognitive social cultural physical emotional and spiritual dimension of human development are integrally interwoven see the holistic approach is it's a collection it's a cluster of uh, all like uh, language cognitive emotional social spiritual aesthetic nature creative and physical it's a, it's a combination of all things it's the entire thing we can have even a student he need not go or focus on his field of interest alone the what are the things they are planning to go for they can use both right and left brain of uh, their creativity to reach the holistic education it, it the way which we are finding out here in six points we can reach the holistic education especially the, the first one is instill curiosity and creativity you have to find out the exactness of the students where they are more specific specified in this area of interest rather in case of education in focused and secondly encourage the children to connect subject using their creativity 
so how best we can mold the student and how much how best they can uh, connect with the uh, his own creativity we can uh, uh, bring that uh, uh, the talent from the students and uh, have a even up to the level of patent creations then to develop physiological uh, psychological social and emotional growth then they have to make learning a fun and meaningful experience then to develop better communication skill and uh, confidence and the value relationship and face challenges with a high resilience these are the the typology uh, the typology of uh, collaboration with uh, the multidisciplinary interdisciplinary and uh, transdisciplinary only reach this uh, the, the uh, holistic and uh, multidisciplinary education the multidisciplines which are like uh, uh, the, the the documents which the persons the various people can have their own solving problems the piece of solving problem to kindness those problem into a book and with the multiple experts that can give a fruitful outlet this is why it is called as a multidisciplinary and when when interdisciplinary is nothing but the conversation between the between and among disciplines the one discipline to other discipline what are the invention and uh, what is the connection or relation between uh, two disciplines and working together on solving a common problems and uh, like collaborative health care teams see for example even during this pandemic situation people are started going for the health care uh, team of uh, one, one aspect uh, the people are uh, looking after the oxygen supply demand supply one is for the making the mask one is for the preventive measures one for the sanitizer making one for the distance keeping a social distancing and one is for the observing these are the teamwork which can be collectively make for the fruitful way of the results to sustain the the uh, covid effect, uh, uh, covid impact and uh, transdisciplinary is to sustain the, the conversions across and beyond the disciplinary boundaries and to create a new third idea and language such as the emerging of family systems a medicine and in fact uh, the interdisciplinary research is and the uh, 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 non touching that uh, one to one to one is we cannot uh, have a touch with this and that uh, but for the multidisciplinary uh, things are the uh, the cluster of all together and uh, interdiscipline is to connect all the additional things which can possibly can make it it can be put into the interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary transdisciplinary research is to inculcate with the Uh, existing knowledge and the field of education coupled with the other uh, area of interest can be have a fruitful way of uh, outlet getting outlet a uh, three main type of uh, participations are basically needed for this hour the need of the hour that is the multidisciplinary interdisciplinary and uh, transdisciplinary the multidisciplinary teams which comprises of the collaboration among many scientific disciplines that is the crops livestock medicine medical and social often with uh, minimal interaction between each other might be our other group or around and likewise the interdisciplinary teams which deals with the subject at a frontier between the two disciplines such as uh, nutrition that is between the food and health how the how how way the food is habitual uh, for the health concept the person who is taken a huge food may be uh, the uh, increasing in weight and uh, having facing the lot many physical practical difficulties uh, and for the uh, body weight and for the ill health that for the controlled food and the controlled mind we can have we have a, these are the interrelations what we are trying to implement for the student and often a researcher may need training in both disciplines a researcher going in one direction and uh, we can think it in the other dimension what way can be implemented these uh, research findings for the other field and the other area of interest <laughs> and uh, transdisciplines uh, uh, disciplinary teams which based on the continuous collaboration among uh, several disciplines to some degree all participate in in the development of uh, protocols to ensure all elements of ecosystems are included conducting field work interpreting and uh, integrating results integration of uh, different knowledge systems 
so the holistic uh, multidisciplinary education through nep which covers the various uh, area which is the liberal arts which is given in the uh, national education policy 2020 handout handbooks at item uh, uh, 11.1 of page number 36 that the liberal arts is the knowledge of many arts or what is in modern time is often called the liberal arts the, the liberal arts degree program is uh, interdisciplinary covering the topics with the humanities as well as the social natural and formal sciences so that is the one which is been uh, trying to implement as a, a liberal arts as per the national educational policy second one is the stem s t e m that is the science technology engineering and mathematics as an uh, interdisciplinary and applied approach which is been uh, given in a uh, national educational policy new national educational policy 11.2 where altogether the science can uh, go for the technology and engineering and mathematics we can have a cluster of things even an engineer can uh, even a specific engineer can, can can go for a multidisciplinary studies even he, he must study about the computer science or which can be applicable for e electronics and communication a dual degree program which is planning it for even a triple degree program also is in the virtue of uh, multidisciplinary studies and uh, the stem that is the the key skills for the science technology engineering and mathematics the key skills are required basically the problem solving independent thinking creativity initiatives and critical analysis and communication and teamwork digital literature and uh, with the uh, item of uh, social engagement which has been given as a national educational policy as 11.3 in especially in uh, the uh, holistic and uh, multidisciplinary education which aims to develop all uh, capacities of the human being in terms of his intellectual aesthetic social physical emotional and moral in the integrated manner so when, when, when the people are having a multi-dimensional uh, capacity of uh, exposing themselves in uh, a person who is reading a mechanical engineer or a computer science engineer or a electronics and communication engineer whatever it may be the field of interest and they are in doing it for the course of studies but the person have an individual skill that skill can be implemented or integrated or it can be introduced in the in his uh, uh, studies uh, so that only he can uh, get the more information and the technological development as his own skill this is what uh, they are trying to implement even while i was a student when professor he asked a cousins what do you want to be what do you want to be many people were answered i want to be an engineer i want to be a doctor i want to be a advocate i want to be a politician i want to be a magician I want to be a astronaut and many people replied so many things, but I reflect differently. I will tell what I have told. I will tell in the end of the sessions what answer I had made in this, in this regard. Even at the level of uh, uh, the national education policy, engineering institutions, even IAT, they have more towards the more holistic and uh, multi disciplinary education they were started in bringing the arts and uh, humanities studies in their uh, iit also even you might be known about that uh, uh, the earlier they were have the research work of uh, physics chemistry and uh, even uh, other allied uh, sciences now they started having their own uh, undergraduate level of studies that is bsc physics chemistry mathematics which is basically needed for the higher education and likewise the students of arts and humanities they have aimed to learn more science and all will make an effort to incorporate more vocational subject and soft skill. 
this is what the aict is planning to implement to get admission into the engineering studies even without mathematics without mathematics a student can get admission into an engineering studies the 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 math the person who is not able to complete his mathematics subject up to the level of a higher secondary school they can study as a one of the core subject and can be completed within the duration that is possible only when the system is on the university status or as a autonomous status the autonomous status of studies which really is more useful for the students why because the then and there the updation of syllabus curriculum and regulations what all the basic things are required for each and in, each and every discipline of studies what they are looking in for in fact for the company you are looking a person with the background of so and so and the knowledge with a particular area but the updation of syllabus they are not there updated for the regular period but for the autonomous systems we are updating day by day day by day the developmental activities this is what more attention are focused on the the autonomous is one of the new educational policy which is in line with uh, the uh, requirement for the so student society in multi multiple entry and uh, exit points even the uh, you just imagine that uh, the a multiple entry imaginative and flexible curricular structures will enable creative combinations of disciplines for study and would offer multiple entry and exit points so removing the currently prevalent rigid boundaries and creating a new possibilities of lifelong learning the people are started uh, learning even uh, at the age of 50 or 60 the people are started doing the research work that is also possible earlier in olden days that is not permitted now the the study is for each and every public and it will reach each and every one of the people to have a education educated people throughout the india that is the main aim of the new national educational policy education is common to all and graduate level and master and doctoral education in large multidisciplinary universities while providing rigorous research based specialization would also provide opportunities for multidisciplinary work including in academia government and industry even a government person or industrial persons they are not having an opportunity to to go for a higher studies now the gate is open they are also come forward for their higher studies and for their promotional activities even they can go for a doctoral degree program even at the industry level and in academic institutions there are some restrictions of doing the higher studies now it has been released and flexibility in curriculum and novel engaging the course of a uh, Uh, national education policy of uh, 11.6 that is the uh, the the more important thing is to have a flexibility in curriculum the more flexible systems say the uh, the person who is interested in going for a particular uh, course of studies lot many uh, the elective subjects are given an opportunity and uh, the core subject and the mandatory subject and uh, the Uh, additional subject are interested that earlier it was not there the student can uh, opt for uh, a mechanical engineer can opt for uh, other uh, course of studies like uh, computer science or the electronics and communication or the even uh, uh, the uh, the level of uh, information technology that can be implemented in the flexible systems of curriculum that is only possible with uh, the autonomous systems and uh, other deemed and uh, uh, universities level of studies where the pedagogy will have an increased emphasis on for the communication discussion debate and research for the flexible system only can give an opportunities for cross disciplinary and interdisciplinary thinking even a person who can go for a mechanical engineer can uh, can have a multi dual degree program like with uh, computer science a computer science student can have a dual degree program with uh, mechatronics or a mechatronics people have a dual degree program with uh, bioinformatics so this is what it is uh, the new educational policy is trying to implement for all and credit systems is uh, the in the multi disciplinary 
subjects which you need to have uh, the choice based quiz systems is also been uh, implemented in all the uh, uh, bachelor degree of studies because uh, our education system is an outcome based education our chairman used to say entry is not an important only exit is very very important entry is not an important only exit is very important why because the person coming from whomever wherever whichever the area and whether he is uh, from loyal family or the poor family or what grounds he is coming whether from the tamil medium student or the english medium students we are training our student in such a way to get a exact uh, the uh, area where he is looking for exact place where he is opted for uh, the uh, job opportunity and uh, we are cultivating a discipline as well as uh, the educating and the academic as well as uh, the creative thinking if you are interested we are giving and sponsoring the students for their innovative and novel expertise we are going for that is given in the credits as a uh, 11.7 of uh, page number 37 in the new national educational policy and uh, is also implementing the global citizenship education gced that is given in uh, nep 11.8 the project of area is community engagements and service environmental education and value based education because the community <laughs> engagement <laughs> and the service <laughs> environmental education the environmental education what we are planning it for to have uh, any environmental issues global warming or they can be solved and value based education the persons uh, have a uh, human value or the ethics Which, which can be given importance that is the global citizenship education which also it is implemented and research internships that is been uh, mandatory for the students they can go for internship with the local industry or the business artistics craft person etc and research and internships and with the faculty and researchers and their own research as per the higher education institutions and research institutions they can uh, send the people for their intern or you can invite the people for their internship at our uh, own uh, uh, research centers for uh, knowing the things what all the things the individual higher education institution is having the multiple exit options also given that is uh, in olden days that is uh, not given priority for the students who is discontinuing his studies he has to get a discontinued certificate but while entering the engineering studies the people if they are not able to complete the second year they can complete only one year they can receive their certificate course certificate course of engineering and after completion of two years they can receive a diploma course in the field a joined and third year program he completed they can get his doctorate they, they can get his bachelor degree program and in fourth year you can go for a multidisciplinary bachelor degree program that is the advantage for this multiple exit options as per the national educational policy as given as 11.9 which allows the full range of a holistic and multidisciplinary education in addition to a focus on the chosen the major and minors as per the choices of the student and the major which the people are interested is a uh, mechanical engineer and the minor it may be the electronics and communication engineer they can get the both the degree after completion of his first year four year degree program in a different designs of masters programs which has been given uh, in uh, uh, 11.1 of uh, page number 38 there may be a two year program with a second year devoted entirely entirely to research for those who have completed third year of bachelor third year of bachelor program that means that uh, the person who completed the three year uh, ug program they can go for a higher studies that is what we are trying to implement as a integrated program of five years degree program a students at after a higher secondary level of studies they can join a program is a integrated program mtech program after plus 2 after higher secondary the person who can join mtech directly as a integrated program they can complete the program within 5 years as well 
the four year bachelor degree program with research there could be a one year master program can be given the students who excel in his uh, 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 career of studies in duri four years bachelor of studies they can complete their pg degree within one year that is also possible as per this uh, uh, nep round point 10 there may be an integrated five years course of bachelor and master master degree programs and the undertaking phd shall require either a master degree or a four year bachelor degree with a research experience this is what uh, they are trying to implement and in uh, multidisciplinary education and research university that uh, as per uh, nep 11.11 in fact the model public universities like uh, the iit ims indian institute of technologies and the indian institute of management uh, they are already be there in line with the holistic and multi multidisciplinary education but uh, even recent days uh, the uh, multidisciplinary education research universities are uh, proposed to start in uh, uh, in future and uh, it has been given prime importance uh, or the people are looking for the Uh, 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 education and it is going to implement uh, in near future by the new national education policy and research hub can uh, start as a individual with a uh, with a uh, expertise or the area of interest even individual people can start their own research hub and uh, for their innovation and uh, even it can be given a priority even uh, you can take uh, the persons of uh, the yeah, the people are having a testing laboratory setups private testing laboratory setup they have a, a individual research hub even a sunmar chemicals they have a separate research hub even uh, uh, the people tcs having a research hub and all many people are having a research hub in the area of uh, interest what they are looking it for with a facility and the technological development and technical know how we can start the research hub as per the new national education policy 11.12 which 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 has uh, the the national research foundation that is uh, going to initiate uh, by the honorable uh, prime minister uh, narendra singh modi uh, during this uh, independence day which is been initiated and individual can have uh, their own research foundations even uh, uh, you can take uh, persons um uh, in, 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 in as an individual the people have, have their own uh, research foundation with their name uh, there are some uh, uh, policies they can start their own research foundation to for the noble and uh, social cause uh, that there is uh, muruppa research foundation is there in uh, chennai they were started very well started in long before for the developmental activities and for the other uh, research findings uh, that they have uh, plenty of funds it has been re received from uh, different uh, sources and from uh, different countries they are receiving they are doing the research activities in their own as well the person who is are uh, interested in going for they can register the private uh, trust as a, a research foundation they can start for an autonomous body is a new education policy can have very well uh, the research foundation at the different area of interest and multidisciplinary institutions with a uh, higher learning of our undergraduate programs with uh, high quality teaching research and community engagements also is uh, possible and autonomous system and uh, the university is concerned and uh, extension activities can uh, have a uh, community engagements service contributions and various field of uh, practice uh, faculty development which also is given as a priority in a holistic and uh, multidisciplinary education the multi by the way of uh, multidisciplinary education in uh, 2020 or uh, by 2040 all higher educational institution in become uh, multidisciplinary institutions like what we are going for right now and shall aim to have large students enrollment preferably in thousands 
for the optimal use of infrastructures and the resources and for the creation of vibrant multidisciplinary communities and uh, this process will take time and the higher education of institutions will uh, firstly plan to become a multidisciplinary by 2020 then gradually increase students sent to the desired levels our sri manaklu vinayagar engineering college it is an autonomous institution accredited by national accreditation assessment of accreditation council nac with a a grade nba of all eligible programs and accredited by tata consultancy services and has been ranked as 155 person in all india ranking by india today our smvc which has been given priority and admitted student in a holistic and multidisciplinary campus because we are in having a engineering studies architectural studies arts and science education allied health science and near future we are going for agriculture horticulture school of law school uh, plus physiotherapy and what not we are going for all medical related courses in future then there is a milestone for our uh, autonomous system is concerned uh, is, uh, with a number of uh, an uh, engineering college we are running an autonomous uh, systems of uh, the allied health science as well as the uh, uh, school of arts and science even the holistic uh, multi dimensional education our smvc endeavors to inculcate the intellectual development for start up art curriculum knowledge driven approach content beyond the curriculum that is for the student uh, imp improving the student, student capability and their uh, knowledge as well as uh, our smvc sri manakula vinayagar engineering college endeavors to inculcate the uh, the hme in uh, aesthetic development that is holistic multi dimensional education at uh, aesthetic development we are created a green campus and a pollution free environment as we as a student as well as the faculty members as we all known about our uh, systems and in the social development we have the systems as a co education gender security and we have uh, anti racking and uh, sexual harassment prevention committee which is very well displayed on our website that also the part of this uh, holistic multi dimensional education and for the physical development we have a uh, uh, physical infrastructures which is the multi story building eight story building with a worth of uh, more than 200 crores which is are going to utilize for our own students in a different discipline in addition to that we have a hygienic canteen with uh, organic foods and our playgrounds cricket tennis volleyball football and, and, and our our campus is of uh, 125 acres uh, wide screen campus smac which endeavors to inculcate the holistic and multi dimensional education in the emotional development because we have uh, the nila fm the community radio station it was initiated long back before coming the Im before implementing the new national educational policy we have a social uh, ka ka community 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 radio station for the public utility and has been given priority and cultural programs professional counseling also given to all the people who are studying in our college and also we are uh, giving the, we are inculcating the holistic and uh, multi dimensional education with a moral development we are supporting the student with a moral value added education as we know that we have the 17 central of center of excellence which is been invest, invented more invested more than 25 crores for the more than 90 plus certificate international certification courses that is been given with a nominal rate uh, with the student benefit all the students can get benefited with the international certification courses 
during the tenure of studies uh, that is very helpful in getting more job opportunities for our students in all the reputed uh, companies and the students are very feel comfortable and good being the student of uh, sri manakula vinayagar engineering college and we are uh, conducting a periodical uh, the uh, social activities and noble cause through the national service scheme and uh, mentoring programs uh, we are periodically conducting the various programs uh, in all the students by the way of uh, improving themselves self disciplined and uh, the students uh, can know the how to help others and uh, how to uh, be a uh, noble person in the public and with this let me stop before uh, 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 ending this session uh, i like to say that uh, what was asked that what you want to be see everybody answered i want to become a engineer i want to be a doctor i want to be a etc etc x and y by but my answer was i want to be a example of others my answer was the i want to be a example of others so that you know the the the, 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 the meaning of that being the person we must be the example of others then you are there you have your own identity i advise my students you want to be a example of others so that only you have a individual identity if you have a knowledge if you have a power if you have a energy if you have a, the distinct capacity you show your identity being an smvc student you have a quality education you are a qualified person you are uh, getting a good job going to get a good job in a reputed uh, organization with a discipline a manner you know the value of uh, ethical values and you can be a good student and uh, you are a good person in the universe i wish each and every one of our students for their bright future and this definitely this uh, the holistic and the multidimensional education will help you in 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 the next level of education and creative thinking and using your both left and right brains because many students are not able to report the colleges because of this pandemic situation but we are in continuous touch with our people through online we are motivating our students through online we are motivating and energizing our student the value of the education value of the education only will give the uh, societal value the value of education only will give the level of uh, your status the value of education will take you your generation by generation in good position with this let me stop as our uh, the great leader mahatma gandhi told live as if you were to die tomorrow learn as if you were to live forever educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all because education is the prime important to all i wish each and every one of you for their bright future we will be in touch definitely this uh, the pandemic situation will be vanished and we will have a clear cut uh, ideas we will have one to one interaction during the tenure of your studies we will take you in the right path where you are looking for we will take you in the right position where you are trying for we will take the good societal position where you are trying for i wish and every and convey my best wishes to each and every one thank you very much for giving me this opportunity thank you thank you sir for enlightening us the background of holistic and multidisciplinary education thank you students and other participants for your kind cooperation we'll meet again by Suggestions. tomorrow at 3 pm with an another theme of nep 2020 need a feedback from the student uh, but they cannot orally communicate sir no they can give the mail to us ah, okay enter. okay our okay. whatsapp they whatsapp your number for that ah, okay anyway. Thank students if you have me. any feedback you can uh, give it uh, to us thank you thank you thank you all